Scarlet, here you are. I was looking for you. It was a horrible night. Knox, what are you... What happened to your eyes? They said they wanted to meet us to discuss a peace treaty. Who did this to you? Because the message came from one of our own people. Yeah. All of us went there, right into the trap. It was the night of the blade. They smashed the resistance. It was later that night when they found a way to become undead. Immortals, untouchable by death. That was seven moons ago. Now, it's always dark. Who did this to you? It doesn't matter. I didn't betray you. For once in my life, I did the right thing. I did it for you. So go, Scarlet, go and do what you have to do for me. I still know so little. All you need to know is that if Victor finds the Black Grimoire, he can speak the final spell and everything we know will come to an end. You can't let him get the book. You've got to find Victor, and when you do, Run that moon blade right through his undead heart, no matter what the cost. We all need to pay. Is there still hope at all? Or is it too late already? As Leora says, maybe soon we'll find out. I will go now. You know what you need to do. And use your powers. Th there is someone around who can help you.
It's very courageous of you to come down here, whoever you may be. I spoke to Leora. My wife? Oh, my beautiful wife. She's overcome with guilt for all that she did. She did it all with good at heart. She wanted the best for all of us. Does she seek my forgiveness? Oh, Leora. I will never forget the first Mayflower she gave me. I do not need to forgive her, for I always knew she wanted to do the right thing. I will love her forever, in her world and the next. Please, tell her I said that.
Oh, why do you trouble my cursed soul? What keeps your spirit in this world? It is wrath that keeps me here. I was defeated in battle long ago. I was a champion, but the fight was unfair. I know I should have won. I could prove myself again. They'd see. Calm down, Mr. Skeleton. I will never be free. Oh, why do you trouble my cursed soul? What keeps your spirit in this world? It is wrath that keeps me here. I was defeated in battle long ago. I was a champion, but the fight was unfair. I know I should have won. I could prove myself again. They'd see. Why don't you fight me? Ha! So you want to fight? That's what you want. Today is as good a day to die as any. Yes? I want to use the platform. Looks good. Leave me alone. I spoke to your husband. What? How? No, I don't believe you. He said he will never forget the first Mayflower you gave him. Oh. 
how? So you... you speak the truth. And he said that he doesn't need to forgive you, for he always knew you wanted to do the right thing. Oh, it's true. I made a very bad mistake. It was a moonless night. I knew we'd missed all the chances we were going to get to dispossess the Doge. The resistance was already scarce, and then I met Victor. I didn't want them to die. And he offered me their lives if I delivered them to him. So, I betrayed them to save them. What choice did I have? If we kept fighting, we were all going to die. Better alive in prison waiting for another opportunity than being slain by the Doge's guards. But just as I had betrayed my friends, Victor had betrayed me. He didn't take a single prisoner. They all died that night. Everything I'd worked for, everything I'd lived for, and everyone I'd loved. Gone. After that, there was no point in fighting anymore. Instead, I consigned myself to a life at Victor's side. I decided that this was to be my punishment until the end of my days. It's never too late. I will change things. No, you won't. Don't you understand? You'll just go down the same road I did. In the end, instead of helping, you'll just make things even worse. You cannot change fate. Nobody can. The sooner you accept this, the less damage you'll cause. Now leave me alone. I shall return to my master soon. Here. This is a letter of recommendation. Now you can go and see Largo, who can tell you anything about this district that you need to know. Hmm, I don't know. Do you have an invitation? Yes, here it is. Thank you. You may pass. What can I do for you? I knew you'd show up here sooner or later. I wonder who might have given you the permit. You're a soldier of fortune, coming to a place of opportunities. But before you step any further, there's something you need to know. This district is my district. It may look run down. It might be corrupt, but hell, Lord knows there are killings on the streets. Opiates, fire cap mushrooms, or worse. But it works. It works because the people obey my rules. The dockyard produces ships for the Doge. A gigantic fleet of vessels. And as long as I give the ships to the Doge, anything else I do is tolerated. So, as long as the people obey my rules, everybody has a good day in the streets of the Arsenal District. So, how about you? Will you obey my rules or not? I'm not here to cause trouble. And that's fine. So long as trouble doesn't find you. Now, what was it I could do for you? 
Do you know where a man called Sophistos lives? Sophistos? He pleaded with me for a special permit for a research laboratory when the Great Chimney was built. Do you have the key for the old chimney? Of course I do. But no one in this district gets something from me without giving me something in return. What do you want me to do? As you may recall me saying, there's a golden rule in my district. Nobody messes with the ships. As long as they let the dockyards be, all those little rogues are fine by me. But lately, one of them hasn't been playing by the rules. A man they call Mercutio. And so, I am forced to react. Shall I take care of this Mercutio for you? If you can, let's say, remove him, I'll give you your key. You'll find Mercutio at the Ambrosial Lotus, a very shady establishment. It's located just at the end of the stairs that lead down. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. Sorry, we've got no jobs at the moment. The girls can handle them all. Are you Mercutio? That's me. Why do you ask? You broke Largo's rules. Largo sent you? Hey, you don't need to do this. I I'm sure there's another way. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Let's talk to Kitten, my boss. Who's Kitten? I am Kitten. And if you kill one of my men, I will hunt you down myself. Tusker already told me about you. I know he betrayed you. And I know about the guys you scared with your tricks at the gate. From what I hear, you're quite the wild card. I'm sure you're dangerous too. It need not end in bloodshed, though, if you consider my offer. Speak. I hear Largo sent you to see us. We don't like Largo very much. And speaking from experience, you should never take his word. If there's something he promised you for this mission, maybe we can get it for you instead. And if it hurts Largo in the process, well, that just makes it all the more appealing. Largo promised me the keys to the chimney. That's fine. This is the key to his house. One of my girls got hold of it a few months ago. It'll open the locks you need. Now all you've got to do is go to Largo's house, preferably when he's not there, and take what you need. And trust me. Whatever you do, if it hurts Largo, it'll be good for the rest of us.
Please don't tell my wife. What is it? I want to use the platform. Send the platform down! Yes? I want to use the platform.
Sophistos. Hector was right. The rats didn't leave much evidence. Where are your manners? Sneaking into my laboratory like a thief instead of knocking on the door. I need to talk to you about the Black Grimoire. Oh, the Book of Books. And at the same time, not a book at all. It was given to me. It's mine. And no one will ever see it. But not just because I'm being awkward. Lend me your ear, and I'll explain. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a book was written. Not with ink and not on paper. Who wrote it, nobody knows. But the knowledge within can change the cosmic rules in the hands of one who can look beyond the far horizon. Please, go on. No one knows why, and no one knows when, but the Black Grimoire found its way into our world. It didn't take long for word of its powers to spread, and everyone who heard of it wanted it. Please, go on. Rather than let the book's powers fall into the wrong hands, it was decided it should be destroyed. Hot fire is needed. Very, very hot fire. And I was the one who had to destroy it. So when this chimney was built to provide energy for the dockyards, I secretly stepped in and made some adjustments that would enable me to burn the book. Did you burn it? No, I didn't. I couldn't. I will never be able to. All I needed to do was activate the chimney and put the book onto the grating. But when I touched the book, oh, I was intoxicated by its power. I needed to protect it. I was not strong enough to burn it. Where is it now? I buried it. There's a villa on the southwestern isle. The book is buried in the garden, close to a tall tree. But why would you want to do that? You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Ask a gondolier to take you there and unearth the grimoire? No, you wouldn't. You could. You could put an end to all the horror. But I would never let you. Now, go. You know what you have to do, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 